Have you ever wondered what it would be like to touch the sun? Well, you're not alone. NASA has been dreaming of sending a spacecraft to the sun for decades, and in 2021, they finally did it. The Parker Solar Probe became the first spacecraft to enter the sun's corona, or outer atmosphere, and survive the extreme heat and radiation. This is a huge achievement for science and engineering, and it opens up a whole new world of discoveries and mysteries about our star. But why is studying the sun so important? And what did the probe find out during its historic mission? How did it manage to get so close to the sun without melting or frying? And what are the implications and challenges of exploring the sun for the future of humanity in the solar system? In this video, we will answer these questions and more as we dive into the story behind the Parker Solar Probe and what it means for us. So stay tuned and get ready to be amazed by the power and beauty of the sun. The Parker Solar Probe is a NASA mission that was launched in August 2018 with the goal of studying the sun up close and personal. The probe is named after Eugene Parker, a physicist who predicted the existence of the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that flows from the sun and affects the entire solar system. The probe's objectives are to understand how the solar wind is accelerated, how the sun's magnetic field works, and how the sun's energy is transferred to the corona and beyond. To achieve these objectives, the probe had to do something that no other spacecraft had done before. Fly through the sun's corona, the thin layer of plasma that surrounds the sun and extends millions of kilometers into space. The corona is where the sun's most violent and energetic phenomena occur, such as solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and magnetic reconnection. The corona is also where the temperature of the sun reaches its peak, reaching millions of degrees Celsius, much hotter than the surface of the sun, which is only about 5,500 degrees Celsius. This is one of the biggest mysteries of the sun. Why is the corona so much hotter than the surface? To enter the corona, the probe had to overcome many challenges and risks. First, it had to travel at a very high speed, reaching up to 200 kilometers per second, or about 700,000 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough to go around the Earth in less than five minutes. Second, it had to withstand the intense heat and radiation from the sun, which could damage its instruments and electronics. To protect itself, the probe has a special heat shield made of carbon composite material, which can withstand temperatures up to 1400 degrees Celsius. The heat shield also blocks most of the sunlight, keeping the probe's body at a comfortable 30 degrees Celsius. Third, it had to navigate through the complex and unpredictable magnetic field of the sun, which could interfere with its communication and orientation. To do this, the probe has a sophisticated guidance and control system, which uses sensors and thrusters to adjust its position and direction. The Parker Solar Probe has been orbiting the sun for more than two years, and it has already made several groundbreaking discoveries and findings. The probe has completed seven close approaches to the sun, each time getting closer and closer, breaking its records. The closest approach so far was in April 2021, when the probe reached a distance of about 10 million kilometers from the sun's surface, or about 6.5 million miles. That's about 27 times closer than the Earth is to the sun, and about seven times closer than any previous spacecraft. During its close approaches, the probe has been collecting data and measurements from the sun's corona and solar wind, using a suite of four instruments, a magnetometer, a plasma analyzer, an energetic particle detector, and a radio and plasma wave receiver. Some of the data and measurements that the probe has obtained are the speed and temperature of the solar wind. The probe has measured the solar wind speed at different distances from the sun and found that it varies from 300 to 800 kilometers per second, depending on the location and time. The probe has also measured the temperature of the solar wind and found that it ranges from 10,000 to 1 million degrees Celsius, depending on the type and density of the particles. The probe has also detected sudden spikes and drops in the speed and temperature of the solar wind 
which indicate the presence of turbulence and shocks in the plasma. The radio emissions from the sun, the probe has detected natural radio waves emitted by the sun caused by the movement of electrons and ions in the plasma. Radio waves can reveal information about the structure and dynamics of the corona, such as the shape and size of the magnetic loops and the frequency and intensity of the solar flares. The probe has also recorded the sound of the solar wind, which is a low frequency hiss that changes with the speed and temperature of the plasma. The structure and dynamics of the corona. The probe has observed the corona in unprecedented detail using a camera that takes images of the sun's outer atmosphere. The images show the fine texture and complexity of the corona, such as the strands and threads of plasma that form the magnetic loops and the jets and plumes of plasma that erupt from the surface. The images also show the evolution and variation of the corona, such as the changes in brightness and shape of the features over time and space. The Parker Solar Probe's mission has not only confirmed some of the existing theories and models of the Sun, but also challenged and contradicted some of them. The probe's data has revealed new phenomena and processes that are not well understood and that raise new questions and mysteries about the Sun and its influence on the solar system. Some of the questions and mysteries that the probe's mission has opened up or deepened are, why is the corona so much hotter than the surface? This is the fundamental question the probe's mission is trying to answer, which is still not fully resolved. The probe's data has shown that the corona is heated by different mechanisms, such as waves, shocks, reconnection, and nano flares, but the relative contribution and interaction of each mechanism is still unclear. The probe's data has also shown that the corona is not uniformly hot, but has regions of different temperatures and densities, which may be related to the structure and dynamics of the magnetic field. How is the solar wind accelerated and structured? The probe's data has shown that the solar wind is not a smooth and steady flow but a complex and variable stream of plasma with different types of particles and waves. The probe's data has also shown that the solar wind is not isotropic, but has different directions and angles, depending on the location and time. The probe's data has also shown that the solar wind is not homogeneous, but has different regions and layers, such as the fast and slow wind, the inner and outer heliosphere, and the transition region, and the interstellar medium. How does the Sun affect the solar system and beyond? The probe's data has shown that the Sun is not a static and isolated star, but a dynamic and interactive source of energy and matter, which influences the planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and other bodies in the solar system. The probe's data has also shown that the Sun is not a closed and independent system, but an open and connected part of the galaxy which interacts with the cosmic rays, the interstellar medium, and the galactic magnetic field. The Parker Solar Probe stands as an emblem of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Its groundbreaking mission, marking a historic milestone by venturing closer to the sun than any previous spacecraft, has unveiled a wealth of unprecedented insights into our celestial neighbor. This remarkable probe has revolutionized our understanding of the sun's corona and solar wind, significantly amplifying our comprehension of the star's essential role within our solar system. As this audacious mission continues, the probe's trajectory promises even more remarkable discoveries. Its imminent journey to a proximity of merely 6 million kilometers from the sun's surface coupled with speeds surpassing 1.1 million kilometers per hour, underscores the unparalleled scientific endeavor it embodies. The probe's instrumental data collection remains pivotal, offering a treasure trove of information that fuels scientific exploration and enriches our comprehension of the sun's dynamics. Moreover, the Parker Solar Probe isn't solely a scientific marvel, it serves as a beacon of inspiration for generations present and future. The invaluable data transmitted back to Earth 
will not only captivate scientists and engineers, but also engage and educate the public, fostering a deeper connection with the cosmos. This mission is a testament to humanity's unyielding spirit of exploration and innovation, pushing the boundaries of what was once deemed impossible. As a tribute to human curiosity and perseverance, the Parker Solar Probe transcends scientific achievement. It embodies a legacy that transcends boundaries and continues to illuminate the uncharted realms of space. Its odyssey symbolizes our collective potential and the enduring quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Indeed, the Parker Solar Probe stands as a solar hero, illuminating our path towards greater scientific understanding and enriching the tapestry of human knowledge and discovery.